So here's part two of uh, building these two-way pallets. Uh, previously I showed you when I built the what I call the underpinnings, two by fours and one by fours underneath there. Uh, so if you need to see that you can go back to the other video. So I've got all my parts cut here for the top and all you need to know about these parts is some of these I, I use some reclaimed or some older lumber that's just fine. This is all three quarter inch thick stock. Uh, it's nothing special. I'd buy one by sixes or one by four. I cut that into the strips the width and length I need. These strips here are going to make the perimeter. They're one inch wide. The small piece at the front is about two inches wide. That's really not very, very important how wide that is. The length of that piece is more important than its width. Uh, and then the piece down the middle is two inches wide. That's kind of important because of the way these clips go on here. Uh, they're two inches wide, so that piece should match that clip. So I'm going to set this aside since that's not part of the parts that I use for this. And I'll show you how I do this. I'll just push these out of the way for a minute. As you may remember from the descriptive video, this, this pallet from front to back is uh, the length of the Langstroth box plus one and a half inches. And the, that one and a half inches is because of the overhang in my hive cover. So I want to match the overhang in the hive cover with the width of the pallet. So that means that this, this back piece, this is the back of the pallet, that's the front. Um, I'm going to use these just as temporary spacers. Okay, so I'm just going to line that up by hand. This is not, again, this is not furniture. Uh, so, you know, give yourself some permission to not get too crazy with the exact exactness of it. There's a couple things that, are, that need to be exact, but, the, but you know, overall, good enough is good enough. The Krusty the Clown seal of approval. It's not only good, it's good enough. I'm going to use this big stapler. This is a medium crown stapler. I think that's about a half inch crown and they're inch and a half long three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch inch and a half they do go through once in a while but it's not such a big problem so this is going to make quite a crash when this thing goes off okay so I just pin the ends where I need them to be and then I take my spacers off. If I don't, they'll end up on the floor. Ask me how I know that. So then just pack it in here. Again, this is where I'm using the Type Bond 3. It's a waterproof and food grade glue. That's a easy way to say what kind of glue that is. If you're really interested, you can look that up. All right, so these are my side pieces that go here. Again, this is not rocket surgery. You just put that right on there. I like to put a little dab of glue in the corner here, just to hold the end of that to the other piece. And again, with a big stapler. This is a little bit warped, so what I'll do is line that back up, I'll line the middle up and pack it, and then I can pull the end of it in, and then a couple more. Okay, just give myself some more space here. I always look at them, if, if there's any nastiness going on, um, bark, knots, pieces missing, even if it just maybe doesn't look as nice on one side as the other. I'm going to put that side down. I'm making as nice a job as you can with no effort, right? Take that down. Okay. 
That thing really makes a bang when it goes off, doesn't it? I'm gonna turn this around. Make it a little easier uh, to do this next part from the front. I'm gonna do a couple of measures here. I'm once again going to measure my center, 16 and 3 quarters. And I'm also going to measure the center of my piece here. By the way, I'm also going to measure the center of this front piece, just so I can get everything nicely lined up. Uh, you can see this piece here in the center. See how I've milled that? Get it against my shirt here, you can see that. Okay, so that clip goes right in there. Goes right in there like that. This is deep enough when I put my pan head screw in there. It'll be flush, the boxes sit in there, the bees can't get through there, that's all good. That's exactly the way you want it to work. Okay, and again, a little bit of glue right in the end, not up top because there's no wood up in the top, just maybe halfway down, a couple inches wide, right? And then, a nice bit of glue on there. You know, you really should spread that around. I hate getting that stuff on my fingers, always cleaning my fingers. So I'm using the marks that I made here. I'm using the mark that I made when I put the underpinnings on to get this lined up. And again, a little bit off there, you're okay. Put a staple right smack in the middle here. Make sure I put it in the middle because the screws for that clip will go either side. And I'll just do that on both ends. And then all the way down, hold it nice and Okay, all good. A little bit of glue on this end, and then we'll glue the bottom of this piece here. And that's it. There's one step. Well, there's more than one step after this, but you'll notice I cut these parts last year when I was building pallets. You'll see how that's a little bit long there. When this is all dry, I'll just run this upside down on my table saw and I'll set that to the, the correct width, 21 and 5 eighths. And that'll just clean that up. This is a little proud too. I'll make it nice and smooth and make a really nice job. This pallet will go to the wax dipper. They will wax dip it. The wax boils out the water from the wood. Uh, the wax then is absorbed into the wood, preserving it. And that's a very good wood preservative. Then I get those back. They will get a cleat or a clip, I should say, front and back. And also a number eight screen stapled over these drain holes so that no critters can get in and my bees don't start using that for a entrance. But otherwise, that's my two-way pallet. And uh, I'm only making, I said 15, I'm actually making 25 this year. So 24 to go, I guess. All right, have a good day.